Well, if your kids don't have proper immunization or exemption paperwork, they're not going to be allowed back to school on Monday in the Boulder Valley School District. This is another school district aligning its policies with a state law passed this year. Our Katie Wise live near the state capitol. And Katie, uh, how are parents feeling about this? Well, Dom, some parents tell me they're glad that Boulder is cracking down as long as they still have the choice over whether or not to vaccinate. Okay. Go away. Crystal Goodall is glad the Boulder Valley School District has decided to enforce a state law passed this year requiring immunization documentation, verifying you've either been vaccinated or you have a valid exemption. Just as a collective community, if we have a lot of people coming together, it's safest for us to be able to make sure that everyone has that in place. She's a mom of two little boys, one of them exempt from vaccines. As a parent who needed to opt out, it isn't very difficult to do so. She's grateful the state still allows exemptions in public schools. As a parent with a child with severe allergies and an autoimmune disease, I think we would even be considering homeschooling if it wasn't an option. So I'm really grateful he can still go to public school. State health data shows 4.5% of children in Boulder Valley schools were exempt from the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine in the last school year. That's nearly double the statewide exemption rate of 2.8%. The CDC says Colorado was one of 31 states that reported measles cases this year. Nationwide, the number of measles cases has skyrocketed from only 63 in 2010 to more than 1,200 cases this year. That has some Boulder parents concerned. I'm glad that Boulder's taking this stand to help promote vaccinations uh, in our children. I value it, yeah, being able to have my kids go to school in the safest environment possible. And I just got a message from a spokesperson with the Boulder Valley School District who tells me they've been notifying parents about this policy change since the spring. He said at the beginning of the school year, there were about 5,000 students who still didn't have proper documentation, but now they're about less than 50. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Yeah, it is a hot topic, Katie. Thank you.